Testing, testing, testing. Welcome back, everybody. What you thought I disappeared? No, I don't disappear. I learn more, come back, and I teach you guys. You can see sometimes things take change. I changed my name from Tech Brew to Jamal Jones. Don't worry about it. It's going back to something else. Meshtastic. Laura, long range radios. Something new. It's something that we should be worried about. Who I look like? Bad to the bone. <laughs> yeah, that's me. No, no, I'm just fucking with you guys. So get ready. Get your food ready. Get these ready. Get your mind ready. Tito! Get your dogs under control. <laughs> so, as of lately, one of the main things I've been paying attention to is let me let, let me live with the dogs in. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. As of lately, some of the best technology that I found has not been on our smartphone. They've been on small radios. Uh, small radio frequencies, and that is the Meshtastic network or the Meshtastic app created for the long range network, long range radio devices. How did I find out about this? Why did I go down this rabbit hole? I've always been a, a tiny bit of a nerd at heart. I hate to use that word, but I think that's what they call it a nerd. But it's the person that, like, thinks about things deeper than them, like with technology, maybe even philosophy. Nerds are needed. <laughs> but yes, I've been into learning about Meshtastic for the last week and a half, and it's been something that I cannot, I for the life of me, cannot stop watching videos, even though it's such a primal technology. And when I say primal, I literally mean like caveman. Like we have... Video messaging, text messaging, SMS, Wi-Fi, Ethernet. We have all these different sources for high latency products. We, if, you know, if there was a situation where we had no power, no way to charge our phones, no way to, well, we'll have a way, but they'll be, they wouldn't last as long as what, the privilege of what we have now where we just have a solar or a, a specific grid. We wouldn't have the same privilege that we have now where we actually have a grid for power. So I had to think back. I'm like, what if we did have to go back to the primal caveman days? What if? Then I start thinking about, okay, I want to be one of those dudes that actually has communication, that actually can save my family at least by actually being able to get in contact with them if they need to make a run. If like in this point in time, hopefully. The city hasn't killed each other. Everybody's just killed each other. But if you live in a city, ouch. And I live in a city. I'm, I would say the first survival plan is get your family out of the city, especially the bad parts. Get them out of there. It's, it's going to go shitty first. And then you always need to have a game plan. What are you going to eat? Where are you going to sleep? How long is that? How long can you sleep there? How are you going to travel if you can travel? What are you going to protect yourself with? How are you going to stay clean? And so on and so forth. As an adult, as a full grown adult, now I understand, hey, I got to learn this. I have to be able to protect my family, my mother, my sisters, my woman, my doggies. I got to protect everybody. And guess what? I have to have multiple ways of communication Obviously, the power is not working. We at least need access to fully charged power banks, generators, all that good stuff. And then you might become, not might, you probably will become a target if you're in the inner city for something like a loud ass generator. So you just got to pay attention to how you prep and where you prep. You know, I, I really I, I, I really told myself that the morale of people at the beginning of a crisis would be great. 
But now I think about it, after having conversations and shit, the morale of people would not be great. It would go to immediate panic and then immediate violence. Meaning immediate manipulation of morale. Like once the point comes to I need to survive over you, my family must eat before you because I wasn't prepared. They you probably will be harmed for your food, shelter, generator, and what else you whatever else you have of value. Just imagine being somewhere in public where no one has cell phone service after a week or two because, you know, everybody's cell phone dies. And you're the only one with a a device that's able to communicate with your family. And you think that they won't come attack you? Or they won't rid you of that device just out of jealousy, out of, of unpreparedness? I've never been a prepper. I've never been a, uh, a gun guy. I've never been a... Uh, a person that, uh, you know, a ham radio, CB radio, you know, backup communications type guy. But now I am. And I don't mean in a sense like, oh, I'm, I'm going to over infatuate with it. But it must be on your highest level of priority as a human being, like like uh, spirituality, health and uh, making money. Like literally it needs to be up there, like because we're so comfortable as human beings in America. Look at my nice office. I got so much nice shit that I love that it's cluttering. Not everywhere in the country is like that. Not everywhere in the world is like that. Be grateful, but realize you got to have some backup options. So let's talk about it. I did a lot of research specifically with Chad GPT, Copilot, a little bit with Google Bar. I watched a lot of videos of, uh, with uh, the guys from Europe. I know Andy Kirby by heart. Um, uh, Ringway Manchester, I believe his name is. Um, Austin Mesh. I don't know where his videos is, but he's a deep guy. I love dude. The comms channel. I love him because he's literally showing you how to put these machines together uh, through those uh, Mesh-tastic. Um, I believe he's using WizBlock, which is that's my first note that I bought. I should be receiving that in a few days. Back to the the actual thing that we're here to talk about today. If anything fucked up in the world, where if we had a blackout temporarily or long term, what are your order of operations for communications? First of all, you need to make sure you have some backup food so you're not running out to the grocery store and dying over the last can of uh, green beans. Then you need to have some type of weaponry and you need to be strategic on how you move and your family moves. Uh, your family needs to know how to shoot. Your family needs to know how to hunt. And when you're in a city, all that shit kind of goes on the drain, man. I'm, I'm being honest. Like, but when you're rural, you have at least a chance to protect yourself and get ready for something. Uh, hopefully your neighbors won't turn on you, but you have to learn everything. So back to communications. I did my communications with AI, chat GPT, a uh, little bit on bar. Like I said, I watch everybody's videos. I'm putting together notes. I think it's better to have private channels. Uh, GMRS radios and Meshtastic long range radios have shown the most promise in these situations. Now they all may work. I think you should have a backup plan for all of them. But when you see the long range radios and their antennas and how the system is actually works and how you can actually have private channels and, you know, you can pick and choose how much information you want to share to the network and, um, you know, how every node is pretty much a hop to another node. Even then, sometimes I'm finding out you can even not allow your node to hop other people's messages. This is like deep to me and I'm learning like, wow, I didn't think about it. You got to grow older to actually realize where you missed out at, where you were lacking. And now I'm, I feel fulfilled. I feel like now I can really protect myself and actually start to share this plan 
And I'm in the Midwest. I know there's mesh-tastic group popping up everywhere. There's mesh-tastic groups popping up everywhere. But they don't have a lot of followers and a lot of uh, members. And what I think it is is because everybody wants to be super nerdy about it. Oh, I put together computer board PCBs and they want to make all, they really want to make it hard, obviously, for people to get into the industry because, you know, it takes a long time to learn this type of stuff. It, uh, they don't want people to feel like it's easy. And I don't know why it's like, don't think like that. Um, I know that one thing about the uh, Mustachic Network and why I bought the Wiz Block, I learned from the comms channel with the Wiz Block, you can further configure the computer board to actually take on other components like Wi-Fi or um, sensors of some sort, which to me, I found even more value. Okay, what if you have a sensor? What if there's a GPS on this person? And so now, if you can't get a, a SMS transmission through the Mestastic app or through the LoRa uh, long-range technology, then now you have a GPS sensor of their actual longitude and latitude. And now you like it's always some extra technology that we don't see. It's low power. If we lose power from the grid, guess what? We have an issue because all those GMRS radios are now very power hungry and they need a lot of power to charge and different things like that. So think about power banks and generators and everything that is going to need to run in order just to get those radios working and continuously working. And like I said, they're loud. You don't want to take those to somewhere in public and knows somebody notice it. And then now you have a situation to where someone's trying to harm the person just to get that advantage of the radio or try to figure out where the radio system is in general. Um, I do believe communications in a distracted world is very important. And when if everybody's distracted, nobody's focused on, you know, preparing for any type of, you know, blackout or food supply, you know, famine or, you know, some type of impact to our economy that we've never seen before, then people can get comfortable. And what happens is if there is, God forbid, but if there is some type of backlash or some type of issue, people are very unprepared. And the first thing they're going to do is go bunch up and run to the places of importance. And what's going to happen is there's not going to be a cashier to take your cash or credit card or anything like that. So what do you think they're going to do? They're going to loot. And it's not just going to be just one color. It's going to be everybody. They're going to loot. And, you know, whoever they're last, they may get violent and loot from the people that loot it. <laughs> you know, so I don't want to just come up with all these negative scenarios, but we do have to be OK. If you had a to think about, okay, if a blackout came, your refrigerator is eventually going to stop working. What are you going to do? How, what is your heat source? Where's your clean water coming from? How are you going to clean water if you have clean water or if you have water that you have access to, but you need to clean it? Where's your um, dry clothes? Where your, um, how are you going to be able to make fire on a demand? Different things like this is something you should be planning with your family. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you have been planning with your family. But in my community, I don't think it's even been a thought. So many other things to worry about. So I am getting the Wiz Block Starter Kit. And I do want to say for those who are watching the video, I do show WAC Wireless, RackWireless.com. Um, and I also see LilyGo. Actually has the T decks with the 915 frequencies for America for $56. I'm not sure what the shipping is. So it's probably better if you buy more than one. Obviously, if you're getting nodes, you're going to need a node to walk around with to receive the message. You're going to need a node at home to actually send off the message. And then you're going to need some type of repeaters or something that, re that can get up as high as possible to actually send off that message. So you can have a better line of sight wherever you are. So one thing I find valuable over the mesh test, excuse me, 
One thing that I find value with uh, communication with Mastastic over GMRS radios is that it's low battery consumption, meaning you're probably going to get way more charges off of these devices and able to keep these devices running way longer than a GMRS radio if we are in a blackout situation. That's that's big. So I would never think about it in any other way. Now, if we still have power, but we don't have internet, cool. GMRS radio is way better than mesh tax. You could actually talk. And they have repeaters, of course, cool. But Meshtastic is a growing network. The technology, I believe, the lower technology, long-range technology, is still like a 2010s um, invention. So, you know, we have a lot to grow in this network. We have a, a community to build in the Midwest. I want to thank everybody for subscribing and following lately. And watch me put together my first nodes and watch me put together everything else. Like, subscribe, and share. Cheers.